Every president needs security, but when you're the leader of a country with some of the most powerful enemies, you need a whole lot more. A fleet of the best cars, the latest technology, and highly trained agents with private jets, and a network of spies working all the time to keep President Racy safe. Using innovative gadgets to advance surveillance systems, get ready to see how President Racy's extravagant security detail works to keep him safe and secure. Iranian President Ebrahim Raisi's security team, a massive operation with a powerful Iranian army, has its roots in the ancient Achaemenid Empire. The 20th century saw the fall of the Pahlavi dynasty and the establishment of the Islamic Republic, presenting new security challenges. After the 1979 revolution, the Iranian army protected the nation's sovereignty and its leaders. The brutal Iran-Iraq War of the 1980s further solidified the army's role in national defense and presidential protection. Today, President Raisi's security measures have evolved into a sophisticated network. The Islamic Republic of Iran Army, with its four branches, the Ground Forces, Air Force, Navy, and Air Defense Force, forms the backbone of this network. The Artesh, as it's known, has undergone significant modernization adapting to new threats with cutting-edge technology and specialized training. The Islamic Republic of Iran Army Ground Forces, or Naja, is the main event with a whopping over 300,000 soldiers providing round-the-clock protection. They're the first line of defense against any potential threats. But that's not all. The Islamic Republic of Iran Air Defense Force is also on high alert, with 17,000 personnel working tirelessly to keep Iran's skies safe. They're equipped with the latest and greatest radar systems and anti-aircraft weaponry, ensuring no unwanted visitors enter Iranian airspace. And let's not forget the Iranian Navy, with its 20,000-strong force patrolling the waters and keeping maritime routes secure. This navy is a symbol of Iran's regional power and a reminder that they mean business. Last but not least, the Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force is the president's protector with 30,000 airmen and a fleet of fighter jets and surveillance aircraft ready to respond to any threat at a moment's notice. The different branches of the military work together seamlessly, coordinated by the Qatam al Anbiya Central Headquarters in Tehran, under the leadership of Commander-in-Chief Major General Abdul Rahim Musavi and his deputy. The forces are united in their mission to protect President Raisi with unwavering determination and precision. The Islamic Republic of Iran Army, with a budget of nearly $2 billion for 2024, is investing in advanced technology and security innovations, including advanced weaponry, surveillance systems, and training facilities to protect President Raisi and Iran's security. Iran's Ministry of Intelligence and Security, MOS, and the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC, collaborate to provide President Riyadh with a robust security shield. MOAS targets Western and Israeli spy networks within Iran and pursues dissidents abroad. They also actively influence Western powers, investing in high-tech security systems. The all-encompassing security surrounding President Raisi has a significant impact on the lives of its citizens, as the presence of armed guards and surveillance drones symbolizes the state's watchful eye and the trade-offs between safety and freedom in a city that is both a capital and a power stage. Iran's commitment to protecting its president, President Raisi, has been praised by the international community. However, concerns have been raised about the implications for civil liberties and human rights organizations. The Bell 212 helicopter, a medium-sized utility helicopter with two blades and two engines, was used as part of President Rizal's entourage during his travels. The helicopter's power comes from its Pratt & Whitney Canada PT 6T twin-pack engine, producing up to 1,800 horsepower, making it safe even if one engine fails. The Bell 212 is an agile and responsive aircraft, perfect for quick deployments and emergency extractions. Its size, weight, and capabilities make it an ideal choice for presidential flights. However, maintaining such a fleet is expensive, especially due to decades of sanctions aimed at curbing Iran's nuclear ambitions. The operational costs of the Bell 212 include fuel, pilot training, and security personnel. The Bell 212 is also versatile, serving as a flying command center for President Racy's security team. Its impressive speed and range enable quick decision-making in situations where communication on the ground is compromised. The helicopter's ability to land in diverse terrains allows President Racy to be extracted from potential hotspots. 
In the 21st century, Iran's security narrative expanded to include cybersecurity and threats from non-state actors. Despite sanctions making spare parts scarce, the Bell 212S continued to fly under President Raisi. As a multi-million dollar security strategy, the Bell 212S continued to protect not just a person, but a set of principles and a government facing internal and external pressures. President Ebrahim Risi's life was tragically cut short in a helicopter crash, despite being protected by a multi-million dollar security apparatus. There have been conspiracies surrounding the crash, including tampering, mechanical issues, or Israel's Secret Service Mossad involvement. A search team spent 40 hours searching for Racy's body and confirming his identity, requiring significant resources and funding. A massive search and rescue operation was launched, with helicopters, medical experts, and Iran's Army Revolutionary Guard and police forces navigating treacherous terrain. Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered a large-scale rescue operation to find Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi's helicopter after a crash. He sent two modern planes and helicopters to Tabriz in northwestern Iran with 50 experienced mountain rescuers and 60 highly trained workers from Yakovsky Airport. The European Union offered to help find Raisi's helicopter, activating the Cernus Emergency Management Service, which uses satellite data for quick and accurate information during disasters, crises, and emergencies. The Copernicus program provided four types of maps for the search operation. Turkey's Disaster Management Agency, AFAD, sent a team of 32 experienced search and rescue experts to assist in the search for President Racy. The team included skilled climbers, new drones, and a state-of-the-art Cougar helicopter. Despite efforts from several countries, including the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia, the search for the missing helicopter was futile. President Raisi died in the crash, and Iranian officials organized memorial events. Security forces tightened near official events, and roads were temporarily closed near event locations. The operation involved a delicate balance between showing power and managing public image, with high costs both in terms of money and public perception. If you found this video informative, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more deep dives into global affairs. Until next time, stay informed and stay safe.